Hey YouTubers, Silver Skull Gamer here with a unboxing I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Uh, first shout out goes to Dave the Bartender who made this even possible with his subscriber contest and uh, er, and I happened to win my first contest ever so my prize was 20 pound British pounds of Anvil Industry Anvil Industry goodness so uh, this is my order finally come in uh, I have to say the shipping time and everything's a little bit better than uh, from England is better than from Poland um, I really like a lot of the Polish stuff but their shipping takes a while. Oh man, here we go. What is that? I don't even know. Alright, well. Oh, okay, it's just a big block of resin. Cool. Wow, this stuff looks like plastic. I mean, the coloration. <laughs> All right, so, man, let me tell you, right off the bat, this stuff is sharp. Getting a little flash here and there, but... Oh, man, let's look at these big guys. All right, so what do we look at first? Just because it's convenient. This is a fusion power pack. Alright, the resin is a little thin. Uh, it's actually like transparent on the exhaust, but it's still there. Um, as thin as that is, I'm amazed that it's actually, there's no holes in it. I got a little flash on that vent. That looks like no big deal. The rivets look amazing. In fact, there's no. Gosh almighty. I would say. All right, here on the back where the hoses go in, you know, it's not quite perfect. There is a little mold line there. Yeah, there's a little mold line on that side. Not even visible on this side at all. This may be, quite honestly, one of the most perfect resin pieces I've seen, and they, the detail is just awesome. All right, so those are the backpacks. Let's look at some of the torsos. I can't remember what they all are. It's hard for me to hold it because uh, there's a, a sprue bit coming right out the front or right out the back. Yep, that is nice. That looks real clean. Mold line kind of goes around the back. That's not really going to be noticeable at all. You just clip uh, this little uh, sprue vent or where it connects to the sprue there. That is beautiful. I mean, it's pretty much perfect everywhere it needs to be. This is amazing. I mean, I'm, if I didn't know it was resin, honestly, I would. I would think it was plastic. Maybe I'm just maybe I just haven't gotten really high quality resin pieces yet. Goodness. All right, so there's yeah, all the torsos are the same, right? Yeah, so I picked these uh, nice armored looking torsos. Um, with kind of a clean chest. Let's look at the legs. So there's a little flash on the legs. But once again, I mean, yeah, there's a little flash. I I don't even know where the mold line is, though. I guess it's on the inside. I mean, I can't. <laughs> This is the most 
Wow, that's awesome. That's all I can say. I mean, even the bottom of the feet are just super crisp. Everything's there. I'm not saying there's a little bit of mold line. Okay. I really have to look for it, actually. So far, I haven't seen a single miscast rivet or really any piece of detail at all. I mean, these these legs look really mechanical, you know. I mean, it looks like power armor, you know. That it has it has mechanisms actually driving them in the back, you know, hoses, pistons, kind of thing. But also armored to where you know everything's not exposed. All right, let's look at a couple shoulder pads. Little flash. Okay, so the sh these two sh shoulder pads I'm holding are not the crisp, as crisp, and sharp as everything else. But still, they're really kind of hard to hold. They're still really nice. Like I said, I haven't really seen a miscast rivet yet. They're all there. Alright, so let's look at the heads. I kind of went for the... I hate, forgive me for the comparison, but the Grey Knight looking heads. I wish uh, the grill effect was on both sides. Honestly, I like that. I don't know why. Oh, look at that nice. That's cool. I like the back of the helmet, actually. The plate, plated, scaled, or plated armor. I don't know how you want to describe that. Kind of like Iron Man looking. Like it folds back onto itself. Super crisp. Alright, so it looks like those are going to be awesome. Let's look at the guns. Dude, these these guns and weapons are simply awesome. Actually, where's the arms at? Oh, okay, arms are in here. That's right. So uh, I bought the custom set. I didn't order a pre-order uh, preset set, which you can do. I ordered the custom set to get exactly what I wanted. Here's the Exorcist rifle, I believe. It's lovely. It's so beefy looking. And it actually looks functional. Imagine that, you know, the ejector port and charging handle are actually in line with the barrel. <gasps> Gasp. Like, wow, like that's a totally new concept. The magazine port is a little thin. There's some very tiny holes there. But by the railing, cast perfect. The grip is perfect. The barrel and the vents are perfect. So the magazine well is kind of thin, but I imagine it's not really a big deal. Once you put the box magazine, well, I'm not sure how that's going to go on there. Oop. Or is it... How's this go? Nope. So, well, so the little backs magazines are tiny. <laughs> Gonna have to be careful trimming the bottom of it. But that looks really good. Okay, these are my like favorite. So it comes with these monster chain driven bayonets which will need to be slightly modified to use. I'll have to trim this back piece. So that, that fits in I guess. But those are super clean. I mean, he even cast in detail to where it's recessed in the middle. Like, that's where the 
the teeth go and it I don't know that's that's awesome that is like that is a fine piece of workmanship right there and also got scopes or flashlights I know this stuff's probably hard to see it's pretty small I mean even these tiny pieces are just really well done the mold lines on everything are so minor this would be the easiest resin cleanup and assembly job I've ever seen. So here's an arm. Now the arms, this is a right arm, already has the buttstock molded in. You see that chunk of resin there? So you trim off the buttstock and then it just lines up with the rifle in his hand. Once again, very clean slight mold line on the back but most of it's going to get covered by the big shoulder pads great great detail on the hand pardon the dog this is just impressive I mean all the oh look hey awesome freebie mechanical arms check it out cybernetic arms Oh, these are great. Sweetness. Very nice. The hands really came out well. Got the Terminator hand look going on. Are any other hidden freebies in there? Nope. I did order a different head. I wonder where that's at. Okay, so all my little extras I ordered are in this bag. Apart from the standard Exo Steam Lord set. Here's the double tap carbine. Oh, that's beautiful. Simply beautiful. It's a little mold line evident on the top a tiny bit of misalignment there on the top rail but otherwise this thing is looking good oh it's awesome if you guys can't tell I really like this stuff so far okay so here is Okay, so this is, I believe, the medieval head. The other ones uh, are the Renaissance. I just wanted to try out a different head. I'm not too crazy about these. We'll see how they are painted up. Um, some of his head designs I wasn't crazy about, and then when I saw them painted, I was like, oh, yeah, those look a lot better. So we'll see what happens. Now this I'm kind of excited about. This is a chem thrower or flame gun or flamer basically what I love is it has a shield which is awesome so it comes with a shield which you can use or not um, there's two different tips so one's kind of the chemical tip and that first one there and then there's like a, more of a traditional flamer tip which looks really good once again I don't see any miscasts. Um, really at all. I mean, it just looks good. So, flamethrower looks awesome. I can't wait to give a guy this thing. And last but not least just for kicks and giggles to kind of see what they look like there's a small spartan crest helmet crest which kind of goes on there for those of us who like mohawks oh yeah fits better on the And then two large Spartan crests. Let's 
So I don't know if I'll use them. Because I don't think they're really good. Well, yeah, I might. We'll see. Maybe to designate sergeants or something. If this is going to be a 30k force. Awesome. Totally pumped. Cool. Um, oh, look. No, never mind. Huh, I got excited. Uh, yeah, so cool. I got uh, everything I asked for and one set of cyborg arms that I guess is kind of a freebie. So thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Thank you, Dave the Bartender. Thank you, Anvil Industries, for making these. Uh, such awesome products. That's that's all I can say. I am super happy and impressed with the quality. Um, I, you know, in a perfect world, I would think that all third-party resin people would just contract out their actual casting to Anvil Industries because I don't know what he's doing that nobody else has seemed to figure out. But, I mean, the casting is the best I've ever seen. It's amazing. So, I kind of wish uh, one of my other favorite companies would just subcontract out their casting to him. Because I really like their designs. The other company from Poland. But their casting is behind. So, anyways, sorry getting on a rant. This is about Anvil Industries. And thank you, Dave the Bartender, for his contest. Super excited, super happy with uh, what I got. Thanks.